Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens on a Feel Good Friday. Elder Advisors was our guest yesterday, and they come back today because there's so many different layers in what they do. Elder Advisors don't go broke in a nursing home. Larry Weiss is with us once again. He is the owner and president, and he is joined by Steve Langdon, who is with Mc McNeely Stevenson Law Firm, correct? That's it. Wanted to make sure I got that right. Larry, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. For you know what this is? Oh, that is Feel Good Friday, Kentuckiana. <laughs> For those who uh, missed all of this personality yesterday, <laughs> he is back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit of an overview of Elder Advisors, and then we'll talk about how Steve Langan works into the plan. If you very know. integral part. Yes. Very, very. Um, and so what Elder Advisors does is, for viewers that haven't met us before on your show, and by the way, Way 3 Listens Live, my favorite show. Thank you very favorite, much. Thank favorite, favorite. <laughs> so what Elder Advisors does, John, is we help families transition their loved ones from their homes to assisted living or to long-term care nursing home environments. We use financial and legal strategies to protect those families' assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. We do the financial component. Steve Langdon and Amelia Stevenson does the legal component. Because if you're going to take advantage of what Steve at the workshop calls special exceptions, you have to be able to work together to do that. Because for husbands and wives, we can protect all of the assets. You all the assets, husband and wife. If one spouse goes right. in, there is a process that Steve and I work together to move all the assets to the at-home spouse. That's what Jeff Hurst at uh, Remax Properties East was talking about yesterday that we're now doing for his family. For it's a single fam if it's a single parent, we can protect about half of those assets. But that always works with the right team approach. And as I've told you time and time again, I want to be the dumbest person in the room. I surround myself with top talent, and certainly Steve Lang and Neely Stevenson represents that top talent. Yeah, Steve, uh, obviously your, your area of expertise, elder law, correct? That's correct. So estate planning, um, as you mentioned, asset protection, there is a legal component usually in most of these things. So tell me a little bit about what you do, this partnership between the two of you, and how this marriage works. Sure. I can't tell you how many times, especially in pre-planning, that I will have folks come up to me. Maybe they're living in Florida half the year, living up here half the year. They'll bring a trust, or they'll bring some estate planning documents they've had created in Florida and say, hey, they're asking me in Indiana or in Kentucky, does this work? And invariably, it does, but then I begin asking the follow-up questions. Well, what about your bank accounts? Or if you have a trust, are those in your trust or, or your home or, or, or your uh, automobiles? Have you placed any of these things in the trust? And what I tend to find out is they have a trust or they have these estate documents it just doesn't control any of their property. And if it doesn't control their property, what they really have is a really nice looking paperweight. And that's all it is. I get the chance to work with elder advisors. And the, the really nice thing for my clients is elder advisors will sit at the table with them. They'll sit at the kitchen table with them in their own home and go through. They'll go to the bank with them, go down to the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. They'll, they'll do all these things with them to make sure that if I prepare a trust for them, these folks are going to come behind me and make sure it's funded. See, just listening to Steve, Larry, it becomes very evident to me that this can be very complex. It is. And unless you've been through it, you have no idea. And also, you said something yesterday that really resonated with me. There's some people who consider themselves experts in the area, but in the areas of law, it's a moving target. Laws do change. Things happen. And why not go with the experts in each field? And that's what I think what, what you do is so unique and needed, because whether it be on the legal side, the real estate side, whatever it is, Medicaid, you have experts in place. I do. And, and for the other people that claim to be experts, and I was doing this is you know they'll give the people a piece of paper and say go do it you know mm -hmm. and when you get back to me get back to me three months later mr. Smith completely messed up the application he's now owing the nursing home twenty one thousand dollars that's what makes elder advisors unique I have five great people that work with me I'm living I'm not existing I'm blessed I've got great people to work with me Denise Manike is my business partner she's a former Medicaid supervisor with Kentucky where she spent 10 years telling families, no, I'm sorry, I can't do anything, I can't give any legal advice, spend all your money down to $2,000. Now she's on the table telling families what they can do to protect those assets. And thank Tammy, yes, thank you, now's a good time. Tammy, just remind me, this is a good segue to remind the viewers that, you know, come on out to our workshops Monday and Tuesday. 2019, people, Happy New Year, okay? <laughs> Monday night, 6 o'clock. There it is. Uh, there you go. At Four Points by Sheraton, uh, at the, uh, right off Crittenden, and, of course, Tuesday morning at the Hampton Inn. But it takes more than just one person to think they can do this. And you have to know one thing and do it well and pretty much only do this. And the other thing that makes uni unique with Elder Advisors is we actually listen to the client. So many people stop and think. So many people try to prove they're the smartest person in the room so they talk at people. 
We listened to the families, we talked to them and with them. And a perfect example was yesterday. A gentleman came in, mom and dad are still at home, but their level of care is elevating, they're using some home health care. But he said, I'm not really sure, because we don't want to have to move mom to the nursing home. And then this is my school teacher story that I didn't have time to talk about yesterday. And this is perfect because it directly relates to legal, because elder advisors, we're not attorneys giving legal advice, we give financial advice. So the gentleman asked, well, what about probate? And I've heard about a living trust. And I said, well, you know what? That's a great instrument and tool to use. I'll refer you to Steve Langdon. So the family is now going to avoid probate, because that is 100% fact, isn't it, Mr. Langdon? Hey, if you're going to pass away in the state of Kentucky or the state of Indiana, probate can, is almost always a guarantee. But, but this gentleman had a will, though. Guarantees probate. Guar and probate's that process where you got to go to court. you got to go in front of a judge. You know, it, and it's for a lot of people, that's uncomfortable. No, you know, it's like me going to the dentist. If I can avoid it, I try. There we go. Yeah, I, I think what, to me, peace of mind is one thing, but also an assurance that you have professionals who are handling yeah. this and you're doing the right thing for mom or dad. Right. And that's really important. I'm curious, you mentioned Denise Manica, your mm -hmm. partner. Right. And you said because she was on the other side, the Medicaid side, that she was tired of saying no, and I think she really wanted to help people. She does. Okay, she so did. most people in, in, who do something with passion have a reason why they got in the business. In Denise's case, it's been it's evident. Right. How about your case? What happened to you where you said, I want to help people? Well, this actually started, if we're going back in time, my first career was with the airline industry. So in the mid-90s, uh, I, uh, I was laid off from the airlines in mid-90s, and I told my wife, I said, well, you know, we have a house and a car, we should probably get a will. And a friend of mine said, well, that's probably the last thing you would want to get. And I said, well, why? And he said, well, because that will's going to go through probate. I said, probate, I thought this will will protect it. And he said, no. So we ended up getting a living trust. I can say a living trust on the air, can I? No, I yes. Okay. All right. Uh, he's going to charge me. I'm going to get a bill. <laughs> yeah, there, there, yeah, there's, I, right. there's gonna a, get bill a bill for that. But... I'm going to get a bill from McNeely Stevens and Shelbyville, Indiana for $250 for that answer. Thank you, Counselor. <laughs> so unfair. Nothing is warmer than a letter invoice from McNeely Stevens and Law Firm. So unfair. <laughs> but it's so true. No, it is not. <laughs> it is. But so in any event, yeah, my wife and I set up a living trust. We've now had it for 20 years because now... Everything we have, our house, our car, our bank accounts, is in our living trust, to which we're the trustees of. So we've now avoided the probate process. Mm -hmm. And right. then the clients became older and older now, and they're like, well, is this living trust going to protect from the nursing home? Of course, the answer is no. No. So then we do our crisis planning. All right. if, you, if you have questions, anything about el whether it be elder law or exactly what Elder Advisors does, then you don't want to go broke in a nursing home. Give us a call, 571-5263. Larry's been nice enough to say, hey, we're open to calls. You Game on, Louisville. Game <laughs> Brain, on. I would, I would think, Steve Langdon, that you're involved on many levels because, for instance, yesterday we were talking about real estate. Mm -hmm. Well, there's legal components there. Right. And, right. and you know, uh, whenever you're going to sign a contract, I think it'd be nice. So I would think that the partnership and the working relationship you have with Steve Langdon probably pays dividends in other areas, not just elder law. No, it, it's phenomenal. Uh, you know, whether my clients need ha tax help, you know, they're yeah. going to Terry Graham at Rodford Moss, certainly the legal help. I refer to Steve Langdon because I'm not an attorney giving legal advice. Yeah. I only give financial advice. So I refer that legal stuff to Steve Langdon. Uh, if they need help selling their home, of course, Jeff Hurst or Fancy Fulton in Indiana. So I'm always referring out. I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything, but I refer this out to other people, but they keep me in the loop. Because if I'm going to refer it out, I need to know what's going on. Yeah, and that's that's the really important thing when it comes to if you're especially in a crisis plan and you're dealing with a nursing home, it's not always just well. There's an estate issue that a lawyer needs to handle. It could be estate. It could be real estate. It could be uh, family law. A lot of different Child issues. Child with special there. needs. Yeah, absolutely. Big time. You're, you're right. right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so one of the benefits I think that, that McNeely Stevenson brings to the table is we don't just do estate law or crisis planning. You know, we've got real estate attorneys there. We have business attorneys. We have criminal attorneys and family law. We do a little bit of everything. And I think that helps in all these cases because, you know, folks come in, they, sometimes they think they can do it alone. And I can tell you right now, I can't do it alone. Yep. I got to have help from all these different aspects. If you came to me and asked me to do a divorce, I'd look at you cross-eyed. I don't know how to do that. You got to come to somebody who does right. nursing home work, elder law, and that's all they do. Yep. And speaking of all they do, that's all that elder advisors does. You're very. I think you're the only of your kind. You know, we, I, we have no competition. That's right. We are the competition. <laughs> yeah, we all mentioned some things that are cut and dried as far as, you know, uh, wills and some of the components there of elder law. But something that's important to you is you mentioned family and different dynamics. Yep. Yeah, that's where you come in and you understand, look, 
you know, I'm going to help you every way I can. And I would think every situation is unique because this is usually a very sensitive time, right? It is. So when the families come in, they're always concerned they're going to lose everything in the nursing home. And as I said earlier in the segment, the reality is for husband and wife, if one parent goes into the nursing home, we can protect half of the assets without even breaking a sweat. And girl, with my highlights, I'm not into sweating, so I want to make sure it's done right, John. John, do it right. You're right. If it's a single person, we can protect about half of the assets. So that's why we're doing our workshops next Monday and Tuesday, Monday night, 6 p.m. at uh, Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive and at uh, Hampton Inn, Clarksville on Broadway at 10 a.m. Well, what's interesting, because you were actually starting to segue, I was going to go back to the attorneys. When families sit down, the first building block, when I sit down with a family, I mean, we'll talk you know, for a little bit about the family, but the first really hard question I ask is, do you have power of attorney? And if they don't have power of attorney, the meeting pretty much just kind of shuts down. Because if the son is actually engaging or trying to engage from a mom and dad, if he doesn't have that legal authority, then I just kind of have to sit down and go, well, then you need to either get it or talk to Mr. Langdon because that, that really allows us to work or not work. Is that a fair statement, Steve? Yeah, it really is. It really is because a lot of times, you know, it may be mom and dad or dad. They're in the perhaps a nursing home mm -hmm. or in the hospital. Maybe they've had a stroke. Maybe they can't communicate. And so when we're dealing with these different institutions, if mom or dad can't speak to those institutions, we've got to have a backup. And we have to have to, the backup has to have legal authority to have these conversations. And so oftentimes when I sit down with folks, that's the very first question I always ask. Yeah. You know, do you have power of attorney? If it's a husband and wife, do you have power of attorney for each other? Do you have it for mom and dad? So that way, when a crisis hits, they can hit the ground running. Because, you know, every day, every week, and every month that things don't get done, you're running through thousands and thousands of dollars. And that's, you know, I, I talk to folks, it's so important that they, if you can, come on in. Come into these workshops. They don't cost you anything. Have a chance to sit down and listen. And the big thing that we do as well is we sit down and listen to them. Yeah. All right. I, I, I love the approach. Now, for those who want to know more about the process, free consultation too. If you if you don't like being in a, an environment right. with lots of folks, you want a one-on-one -on -one meeting, right. you can provide that. Absolutely. We've got three offices, one off of US 42 in Louisville, one in New Albany on Charlestown Road, even for the Southern Indiana community out in Salem, Indiana. A long journey begins with its first step. And the, the biggest thing we try to impress upon uh, the attendees at the workshops is keep an open mind. Don't assume it's too late, because rarely is it. You know, I just, I, I keep beating up on Gus at the coffee club. Don't listen to Guff or Barb at the beauty shop. They're not the experts. You know, come to us, listen to us on that. And the other thing is, I'm going to come back to power of attorney. More than once, I've asked the parents, 70, 80 years old, I'll say, well, Mr. Smith or Mrs. Jones, do you have a power of attorney? And I kid you not, all too often I'd say, well, no, but, but we'll get one when we need it. And I almost break out laughing. I'm like, you're missing the whole point. Yeah, you're you missing needed it before you walked in here. Yeah, yeah, right. Because when suddenly Bob falls and the tractor hits him and he's paralyzed and he can't speak, well, can he get a power of attorney now? Not that, not that point. So no. what does he have to do now? Now he's got to go through guardianship. And that's, that just costs money well, and it costs time. You know, I, I hate to throw up alarms here, but I do think it's, it's important because it, it's going to happen. I mean, yeah. something is going to happen, unfortunately. Right. And before it does, elder advisors, that free consultation, the workshops are very helpful. And if you have a question now that you'd like them to field, whether it be about elder law, about the process a little bit, then give us a call at 571-5263. There's the information again for the workshops. We'll take a little break. We'll be, more, we'll be back with more. Don't go broke in a nursing home. Elder advisors, uh, Wave 3 listens on a feel-good Friday. Feel good. Feel good.